Okay, guys, thanks for joining us here in the charts. This is the crypto flight edition. It is Napoleon Macro speaking. Uh, Bitcoin, 24 hours, well, sorry, 48 hours the buyers have to protect one level that we're going to go over on this video, short and sweet. So look at the daily candles, and I'm going to explain to everyone why I say the buyers have less than about 48 hours to protect one level, make it super simple for everyone to understand. And again, short and sweet. So let's get into it, guys. Welcome back loyal family if you're new here we only explore price action welcome in all of our new subscribers let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here i'm sure so today's january the 26th 2022 and the current price of bitcoin thirty-five thousand seven hundred forty-nine dollars and fifty-four cents, slightly negative 2.8 percent for the day okay all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it here. Same lines, yes. So the follow through line, the red line is really simple. This is the one level that the buyers have about 48 hours to protect. The sellers have less than 48 hours to compromise because Bitcoin is making lower lows and lower highs and the sellers do have a very unique setup here. But the reason that I say the, the buyers have about 48 hours is because we look at the time if you're new, three candles up, okay, a little small, yeah, let's call it a dead cat bounce and of course right now the sellers are in process excuse me in the process of making their impulse leg to the downside now this leg must close a daily candle below this red line the red line is precisely at about thirty four thousand nine hundred dollars but we can call it like thirty five thousand dollars please kindly pull up your charts i'm looking at the binance chart right now um if we get a daily candle to close below that level and use it as resistance unfortunately well i guess fortunately depending on how you're looking at it the market will likely gravitate towards this lower portion of the range that i was able to discover at about thirty two thousand and three hundred dollars now one may ask is this officially my buy range? Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna consider this as my buy range for now. But please keep in mind <laughs> that I'm actively participating in the market uh, for the short fluctuations. Okay, this I won't have any long term um, investments near this range. But I'm just trying to uh, do some repositioning with my portfolio as I have not been active, and we're trying to uh, just kind of you know play the markets in both directions here in the short term. All right, no pun intended. But I'm actually expecting a move higher here in the short term. I'm not shorting Bitcoin, guys. Not right now. Okay, we're actively looking for, uh, we're actively trying to build a long position within this range. Uh, again, 32.3 all the way up to 41.5. That's the level where we would start to uh, potentially start to exit some of our uh, leverage positions out of the market. Okay. And I realize a lot of people have bearish targets and it's going lower, guys. I understand. But please understand that I'm just simply following through with my strategy as it is, as it is suggesting that I must use this range as a buy-in opportunity with a stop out in mind okay so hopefully we're clear we're just simply looking for the uh, next 48 hours uh this active daily candle right here has about 19 hours and 55 minutes to close and on the very next candle you want to see it close above the 35 or 34.9 level um within the next 48 hours guys remember we do have a pretty intense obligation um to uh, accomplish here at least from the buyers what i mean by that is i'll leave a link for the video where we talked about the uh, macd monthly cross down that should not be taken lightly guys uh most of the moves that you're going to see in the market is going to be um hmm. again as i mentioned bleeps in the scale in terms of uh the real move that's upon us here in the not so distant future um, i do think bitcoin will move down eventually but I am looking for a long position in the meantime in order to play this market to the upside. OK, so um, let's go ahead and give it a good 48 hours. Looks like the selling pressure is coming in right now. If you're looking at the video right now and the market is already crumbling below 35,000, that's fine, guys. It's still within the range. Please understand that the range is all the way down to 32.3. And that's how I, I probably actually I won't even be risking like. I won't even be risking more than like 2% below this level, guys, just to be totally honest with you guys. So that's like around the 31.6K uh, level. 
Uh, I mean, these cryptos are like super volatile, right? So it could just kind of wick me out and then just continue going higher. That's fine as well, guys. Okay, so, but this is just basically, uh, we have these ranges at least once per year. Last year, it worked out phenomenal. Hopefully, I can leave a link for that video. And this is our first Bitcoin buy range this year. Let's see how this range ages. That's all I have for you, one of the folks. Just 35,000, guys, 48 hours, okay? So if you don't mind supporting the channel, that's the end of the video. By, before you go, by leaving an appropriate thumb, I would truly appreciate it below the video if you enjoyed the content. And leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote the video on the channel. Thank you for your support. If you guys are new, we also explored the traditional stocks throughout the week. You can kindly join us here on this interesting journey. And we'll send that out to you momentarily. I'd like to take this time uh, to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy before you enter. Keep that positive energy flowing within you. We'll talk soon. And bye for now.